we begin ocean in Italian, oceano. Home is where there are lovely four walls or more, and we hang clothes in our homes, the right people, not just the person. And we like to protect the lovely future. Who's we? We are all of those who are inclined to be 5D, so they know that mindset is everything, and they move out of <clears throat> inner critic, outer critic, <clears throat> denying through addictive compulsive behavior, which is an excess of energy or lack of energy, and therefore in forgetting when individuals who have shame defectiveness cycles, blame, fault, revenge, so all of the adaptive children in the Zen tradition story of Sadhguru, all of the disciples, non-disciples, or compulsive thieves, they don't have to just be thieves, can be liars, uh, people who are completely in a state of avoiding, dealing with emotions, but the number one thing is they don't know that they are a person, even in the absence of other people. And so here's where the IHP content is for those who are 5D, self-empowered, inclined, and enlightened, inclined. Maybe you might want to move into your enlightenment soul age if you might not. And some of you are mystics, and I am a mystic. So we will do the human elements, the spiritual elements, and spirituality. And unlike <clears throat> the individuals in the middle who define themselves as a spiritual process doing a human experience, uh, we do a human experience who learns about ego self. And we can use, obviously, the spiritual, but we don't have to, because not everybody goes down that path. It's a subject matter, <clears throat> like inner growth and your personal development. So learning how to use your mind, love cycle people, it's easy for us, because we don't have an inner critic and an outer critic. Our left mode does not dominate our right mode. In fact, they are like this, because our emotions come up, and we don't shove them down. Oh, because love cycle people unconditionally love themselves with flaws and imperfections. So I myself always have been. I'm not ashamed of my quirks. And I can be embarrassed, but mm, some would equate that into shame. But I don't feel like, oh my God, I'm, I'm so gross because somebody doesn't like that I'm a mystic. Or somebody thinks that me as a Reiki practitioner is uh, someone from some created space that I personally have seen. Uh, not demons per se, but yes, I've seen auras and energy and the past lives of people that I know, and they're beautiful people. So when you're pure consciousness, I forgot, love cycle people don't disconnect from this field of energy, which informs us energy is energy. It's not a story. Oh, negative, positive, yes, those are charges. I don't know about physics yet enough to explain it. So 5D mystics will know there's not energy vampires, there's not dark auras. And when we see what 4D claims as human beings who they dismiss, there is these Zen tradition story, they're non-disciples. In fact, they're enamored with their own light. And that's called spiritual bypassing. So we, we don't do that. And we don't involve ourselves with those who are so blinded that they don't even see that they are not representing love. They're shaming people, which means they have a heartbreak, gut wrench, unresolved situation that they're suppressing and their grandiosity is really not necessary. We know how to be the Zen master and we don't even approach, you know, you need to do this. No, no, we'll just say, no, I understand your 4D mindset. I can see that you still believe in evil. I'm so interested in hearing more, but I'm navigating in the 5D plane. Oh, you don't have to be in the 5D plane. In fact, this is a plane for love. It's not a plane for uh, duality. So I'm sorry. I, I thought I made that clear. You can navigate whatever you want. <clears throat> IHP is non-duality. We, in fact, in the advanced program of the inner growth mindset, you move to neutrality, which is the land of truth. Here, integration of the mind. How do you get here? Well, you get here <clears throat> by working with our charge states. We all have them. All human beings have it. Excuse me. So whether you come at realizing you're a human being from your yoga and your meditation, which I've seen a lot of people don't, there's between, I won't even specify the practitioners that I've met because I've also met the human science practitioners and I'm just going to group them up in here, put them to the side and let you know that if a person's their functional adult, they're compassionate beyond a reason because they've achieved the restorative embodied self. 
So their mind navigates left and right. Our default mode network is down regulated. So I'm not scanning because I'm afraid of a human being who's manipulating their words right now. I manipulate words too. I'm a human. That's actually psychoeducation 101 for anybody who truly understands what it means to be a human and that evil doesn't exist. Now, for my lovely 5D mystics, there's some amazing energies about. So let's get to the point. Love is always the way. Love is in the air. Man, I know this song has been coming in my mind again and again and again, so I'm sharing it with you. Apologies for the voice. <clears throat> so again, protecting the future. How do we protect the future? Well, by not making doomsday predictions with 4D people all over it. They're all over the doomsday predictions, which is really annoying since they do believe in the law of manifestation and attraction, and they're contributing to the collective energy in a way that is a doomsday. Let us help that to disengage and say, we don't know tomorrow, we only know now, because it's very straightforward how to be in the now, <clears throat> with an inner growth mindset, excuse me, not the loop thinking of the heroes and villains that instead adaptive children spend their life in. <clears throat> It's really unfortunate that individuals don't know how to be fierce love and that they choose fear. And so when their voice gets jibber jabbery and afraid, instead of continuing, they actually don't. So for those of us who are not afraid to be embarrassed, I've done things, man, with loved ones and in work. Work, I have one story I've shared with my listeners. I walked out of that. I had... Failed it. I knew I would because I know who I am and I know how it worked. But the people who I worked with didn't believe me. And apparently it was all in my mind. They're like, no, no. I know my weaknesses and I know my strengths. Lo and behold, people that know themselves get consistently told by other individuals, no, I know you better. Mm, no, you don't. But okay, thumbs up. <laughs> that way you can scurry along. Love is accepting each other with our flaws and imperfections. So yes, the scurrying along doesn't actually happen. We sit there and with curiosity, because 5D mystics in the Enlightenment Soul Age group, we have Krishna Lila, Shiva Kali. I got Jesus with me. I got Buddha too, even though he's a little less present, but Sadhguru fills in for that. And then I got all my 5D educators. They're awesome. My political science guy, I love him. He's the most amazing. I can't wait for them to get these things going so that we can have actual leaders and not those who do not weigh their heart down when they see our environment needing help, our ocean, our air, like seriously, future of generations. I don't want any future generation. I don't even have kids and I don't want them to have to fight for oxygen. I'm pretty sure that won't happen. But, you know, uh, in my mind, I'm thinking the oceanic floor. It's been years that we've been hearing about coral reef. And apparently there are leaders who call themselves leaders and they don't believe I don't know how they got that name. Oh, wait. For the people, by the people. So, the first thing that we must do, my lovely 5D mystics, is speak about conversations without being smart asses to those who don't believe in the science. Uh, it's so interesting because as a 5D mystic, I keep seeing people in the middle. They don't believe in the science. They just use the stories, the ancients. They're like competing with information. Like, Ancient subject matter, science subject matter, the part of using your brain as a brain, love cycle people easy. It's a shame cycle people that first have to get a handle on their brain once they're their adult self. That's where intellect <clears throat> begins and maybe actual authentic transparent conversations because they're clear now. So what happens when you are in relationship to other things from this I that is not in a secure attachment within your body? There's all of the uh, disciple, non-disciple, and the compulsive people. And that's not something funny. So functional adults, we meet compulsiveness and any type of shame cycle with this. We are happy to be here. We can talk about everything. Boundaries are not about me canceling you. That is immature, adaptive child behavior. And in fact, they are harsh, unforgiving, and their mind is not in the optimal Mind, it's rigid. Rigidity is not optimal mind. Optimal mind is integration of the mind. So as a differentiated self, as always, unconsciously love each other. Tell each other the truth. It's okay. You can handle it if you use a tone. And also do this. Eye to eye. You're not more special. I'm not more special. We're all people protecting the future together as human beings, by the way. Infinite higher human consciousness, potential experience. Tune in for more in the meantime, have a wonderful day. Apologies for the voice. It's still clearing up. Again, lots of energies about. Get excited.